Looking for it today. Yeah, got into the upper 90s in a few spots, and I think we're going to be in that same range again today. Although what we can be thankful for is just the nice cool start, because even though we're getting temperatures mid and upper 90s, at least in the morning time, it's so refreshing. You can get out over the next couple of hours, take a bike ride, walk the dog, and it's very comfortable. Might even want some long sleeves stepping out the door. Beautiful view at the Port City here in Stockton. We're at 59 degrees. Yeah, it's nice and cool. 58 currently at Executive Airport in Sacramento, 62 in Modesto. 42 at Lake Tahoe. It's even in the upper 30s in Truckee this morning under clear skies. Here's the 12 hour forecast ahead for Stockton in the San Joaquin Valley. Lots of sunshine warming us through the 70s and 80s this morning. By noon, we are at about 84 degrees in Stockton, warming to about 90 by 2 p.m. And then we're in that mid to maybe upper 90s range between 4 and 5 o'clock, the warmest part of the day. But look how nicely those temperatures trend down during the evening. That breeze will come up from the coast, that onshore breeze through the delta. Today, Today in Sacramento about 98 yesterday was 97 so we're in that same ballpark and the average is 93 records of course are well up there into the 100 still 1894 we hit 108 I think one of the reasons it feels so comfortable too is we're starting to get more nighttime hours yeah that sun rises after 630 now and the sun sets at 742 so the sun going down a little earlier helps to cut off that heat a bit more we're looking at uh, the satellite radar view very quiet picture here with an upper level low off the coast We've got that desert southwest heat, and that's going to build towards us ever so slightly in the coming days. That low off the coast eventually will work its way north and east and going into the Pacific Northwest. That will help to encourage an onshore breeze for the next couple of days, but likely turn our winds more out of the north Tuesday into Wednesday, and that's the day we'll probably be flirting with 100 degrees on Wednesday. And then as we head towards late week on Thursday and into Friday and the holiday weekend, we've got this low that's going to make its way down the coast and influence our weather cooling us down probably to the 80s by the time we get to Friday, even into Saturday to start the holiday weekend. Quincy today, a high of 91, close to where we were yesterday. Pollock Pines about 84 degrees. Same thing in Arnold, about 85 this afternoon. And the foothills will range in the upper 80s, low 90s, comfortably warm in the afternoon. Grass Valley, 87 degrees. We're up to near 90 in Placerville, 91 in Sonoran Angels Camp. In the Delta today, you'll find that breeze pick up once again towards late afternoon. Fairfield getting to 94, though. Concord 92 and about 94 in Lakeport and likely in the 80s in San Jose this afternoon. And the forecast for the San Joaquin Valley, pretty warm. 95 in Lodi, 97 in Stockton, 95 today in Tracy and Modesto and around the Sacramento region. We'll also find those temperatures mid and upper 90s, 96 in Vacaville, 98 in Sacramento, about 97 in Roseville today. But still going to be comfortable tomorrow morning. De overnight lows in the low 60s, a high of 98 on Monday, 97 on Tuesday. There's that 100 possibly on Wednesday. After that, though, the temperatures come down. By Friday, we've got a few clouds, maybe Saturday, temperatures in the 80s. And by then, we might even have some Sierra thunderstorms returned into the forecast. Great to see the 80s and not too many triple digits. Yeah, it doesn't look too hot, <laughs> but just in enough to make it uncomfortable if you're out there in the sun for too long. Sure. Mm -hmm. Right. Thank you so much, Eileen. Up next.